What we would be able to do is, uh, w with our increased capability on MSL, is we really get a sense for um, how, what kind of environment it was specifically uh, that the water was present in. Was it there for a long period of time? We'll be able to do that uh, uh, a little bit better than we have in the past. But mostly we get a really good chemical assessment of, of how not only the water was present, but whether or not the environment could preserve organic compounds, which is very important for us as a science community. Because uh, when you stop short uh, and ask the question about can you ever hope to someday find evidence for life on Mars, you first have to look for the calling cards, at least traces, if you will. We call them chemofossils little bits of, of chemical evidence that suggest this is the kind of place that you should go back to and look in more detail. And, and our hope is, is that if we find such bits of chemical evidence that will be quite a rich record, this would be the kind of place you'd want to go back to and do, and do sample return, for example. You, you, you're going to want to go to progressively higher levels in your analysis. And that's just the way we do it on Earth. Uh, you go out to the field, there's Lots of different rocks to go look at. You never know kind of which one, but you zoom in on it, and it is an iterative process until you bring something back to the lab and then finally know that you found something really significant.